We have reached the finals of this Western New England Candlepin Association Pro Tour event here at Bogey Lanes in East Brookfield, Massachusetts. In this final match, you're going to look at Richie Myrick, who is fresh off a win over Phil Clough in the semis, and Ed Tringali, who was the top seed in qualifying. Ed Tringali, as you, you may know, is a member of the USA East team that won the World Invitational Team Tournament in Halifax, Nova Scotia last month. And Ed starts off with a spare and let's have a, a look at this 357 nice piece of wood between the 3 and 5 that helped him convert that. So Ed is off to a good start with a mark in the first box. Richie Myrick with a nice try on that one seven with wood, but the uh, seven, the uh, wood went off the wall in front of the seven instead of taking it down. So he'll start with a nine. Ed Trigali, despite his uh, experience on the Pro Tour and, and the World Tournament, is a relative newcomer to the Western New England Tour. And there is a strike in the second box. Great ball right there. High flush in the one-two pocket. Six pin is the last one to go. So he is off to a flying start here. I started to say that he is a relative newcomer to the Western New England Tour. I think last month was the first time that he has competed in an event on this tour. And he did quite well. Took a nice paycheck. And he's back this month, and I have a feeling he'll probably be back in future events as well. Rich Myrick with a 7 in the second box. So he doesn't want to let Ed Tringali get too far ahead of him. As Ed has started off with two marks. Ed hits the head pin again and leaves the 3-6, an 8 drop. Richie Myrick with 7, leaving the 3-6-10. And that's three marks in a row for Ed Tringali as he converts the 3-6. We will take a look at the score. Ed has got 50 through 3 with a spare up. And Rich has 25. So Ed is up by 25 pins plus whatever he puts on this spare in the third. Twenty-five plus five. So he's got a thirty pin lead right now does Ed Tringali. Rich Myrick with a solid 1-3 pocket hit, dropping 9, leaving the 4 pin. And at this point, it's pretty imperative that he convert this spare. Ed Tringali doesn't convert that, uh, that split. And Rich tugs the ball to the left a little bit and misses the 4. That does not make him at all happy, as you can see. Ten for Ed and nine for Rich in the fourth. Ed Tringali with another Excellent first ball on the head pin, leaving the 3-6-10. Rich Myrick with a good pocket hit. He's got the 7-8-9, but a piece of wood at an angle in front of the 9 that might help him make this spare. He might be able to use the wood to uh, knock the 8 over into the 7. See if he can do it. Yes, terrific shot right there by Rich Myrick. 
utilizing this nice piece of wood there and that the wood just directs the ball over into the eight which goes over into the seven so that's a spare in the fifth and a badly needed one for Rich Myrick as they switch lanes after five Ed Tringali has 74 through the fifth and Rich Myrick has 44 with the ball working so he is down by 30 minus whatever he can put on that spare in the fifth and Rich with just three so it's still a 27 pin lead for Ed Tringali Ed drops six leaving the two four five eight diamond And Ed converts the spare. That diamond is a tough spare. And Ed just put the ball solid in that 2-4, between the 2 and 4, and converted it. Uh, he made it look easy. Rich Myrick, a little bit too full on the head pin, leaves the 3-4 and 6. Ed with another light 1-3 pocket hit, but he gets seven and uh, seven on that spare. And he's got a, a more makeable shot than Rich. And Rich with a nice bid. He almost got that four pin to come off the wall, and, or the uh, six pin to come off the wall and get the four, but it didn't quite do it. And Ed also getting two out of three. So both of them will be open here in the seventh. Checking the score again. Rich Myrick, uh, Rich Myrick with 64 and Ed Tringali with 101. So it's a 37 pin lead. And there is a strike by Rich Myrick, which is what he needs at this point. Uh, Rich is very capable of throwing a lot of strikes in a hurry, and I'm sure Ed Tringali is well aware of that, so he will not be counting his chickens at this point because he knows that Rich can make up a lot of ground in a hurry. So Ed has to keep his foot on the gas. He dropped six. Just missed the head pin to the right and he is left with the one, seven, nine, and ten. Pretty difficult shot. Nice try there. He uh, Caught the right side of the head pin, but it went right over the seven and the ball went between the nine and ten. So Ed will be open in the eighth. He'll have a nine box. Rich Myrick needs another strike. And he misses the head pin and uh, does pretty well to get seven out of it. Leaving the six, nine, ten and some wood that is well out front. It's, um, it's got to be at least a couple of feet in front of that six pin. And you can see it was a tough piece of wood. It was just at the wrong angle to get the six, nine, ten. He would have had to probably hit it quite a bit higher than that in order to push it back into the corner. So Rich will be open. He'll have a nine. Ed Tringali with eight. So Rich Myrick is down 117 to 91 with only one frame to go. So that means that Ed Tringali is going to pick up his first title here on the Western New England Tour. He's uh, feeling comfortable out west. If you see him with a cowboy hat, it's because uh, He's, he's gone west and done well out here the last couple of months. Rich Myrick will finish with a 9, and Ed Tringali will finish with an 8 box, and that'll do it. Ed Tringali is the champion of this Western New England Candle Pin Association tour stop at Bogey Lanes in East Brookfield. Final score in this final match is Ed Tringali 
125 and Richie Myrick 100. Rich will take home the second place check. And we will see you next month at AMF Airway Lanes in Chicopee.